What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to save sessions inside of Pro Tools, Pro Tools 9 to be specific. And I know that sounds really, really simple, like, come on, I know how to save a session. It's just the same thing as any other program. Well, that may be true, but I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of saving that session, um, as well as copies of that session. That is actually a lot different than any other program. So go ahead and open up your session, um, whatever session that you do want to save. OK, so I have this session open um, from a previous band that I was recording. And they're really good, by the way. Anyway, so let's go. Let's do the old school, old fashioned way, which is top left hand corner, hit file, go and hit save. That's going to automatically save the session to whatever you had previously saved it as. That's really awesome. It's really uh, quick and easy, and it confirms that you saved it. Now, a hotkey for that is. Apple S or Command S, because Command and Apple is actually the same button. So you just hold Apple and then hit S on your keyboard, and that's going to save the session as well. That's really awesome. You want to make sure that you are always hitting Apple S throughout your recording. Any single time that you do something new, hit Apple S. Just get into the habit of always hitting Apple S because Trust me, no matter how powerful your computer is, uh, the program's going to crash. It's just te That's just technology in general. Things will glitch up every once in a while, and you want to make sure that everything is safe. So every single time you are um, doing something new, you moved one knob up, just hit Apple Save. Sometimes even when I'm in the middle of recording someone, like the track is being laid down, I'm hitting Apple Save, like I can somehow save half of what's recorded anyway. All right, that's one way. So let's go ahead and cruise back to the top of file, hit file, and go down to save as. Now save as gives you, like if you want to save it a different name um, within the same session, but what a lot of audio engineers use to save as is for mixing purposes, such as um, um, like rough mixes, and then like mid mixes, and then the final mix, they will save that. Uh, different save as. So like uh, this current song is named Contagious Love EP and then they'll do, um, let me zoom in a little bit more, and then they'll do like parentheses uh, rough mix and then save that as a session and then um, from there continue on mixing it again and then save the session again and then they can compare back and forth. They can open up the 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 previous mix and just compare the mixes of the same exact song and say, okay, which one is actually better? Am I actually progressing better to a better mix? So that's one different way which is really useful. Another way is go back to file and go down to uh, save copy in. Now save copy in allows you to save, um, let's say you want to go from Pro Tools 9 to Logic. You can actually do that from save session copy. Um, it allows you to do that. So what you have to do is select latest is fine. Oh, as well as going from Pro Tools 9 to um, Logic, you can actually go to older versions of Pro Tools because this Pro Tools 9 isn't isn't necessarily compatible with older versions from if you take a look here, 6.9 and under, and below. All those versions of Pro Tools, it's not compatible. So you can't just open up a brand new session. You actually have to save um, this new session as one of these uh, selections. So session under Session Format, you want to choose whichever one that you want to go back to, the old school one, Pro Tools 3.2 or whatever. And that will save it so it is compatible, if that makes sense, all right? So, um, but once again, um, the most common thing will be saving it to use it inside of Logic, and you just go ahead and hit the latest. And from here, you can set the sample rate as well, um, and the audio file type. AIF is fine because Logic is Mac based, so you do want to hit AIF. Uh, Logic will work fine with Wave as well, but I just use AIF if I'm trying to go stay, stay with Logic. Um, one thing you do want to really, really focus on is this. Uh, items to copy, you want to make sure this is checked off, all audio files. That way, um, all of the audio files within this session is going to be made into a folder, and you can save that folder as well. So when you bring it into Logic, Logic isn't trying to search for all your audio files and realize it's not actually there. 
So that's one thing you want to make sure, uh, and as well as you have other options such as session plugin settings and, and all these good stuff. But the main one that you want to focus on is all audio files once again, OK? So I'm just going to hit Cancel. And there's actually one last thing. Um, as well as Pro Tools 9, it does have um, its own templates from a starting point. But you can still do the old school way of Pro Tools 9, um, the previous ways of Pro Tools, which is saving something as a template. So let's say you built up a session. You like the way the tracks are set up. You like the plugins that you have set up. And you want to save it as your own custom template. You can definitely go to the top file, go down to um, Save as Template. And then brings up this window right here. Install template and system. And remember those categories? You can actually place it in one of these categories. That's really awesome and um, something that, that I think is really, really great. Um, as well as you can make a brand new session so, or a brand new category. So if you want to add a category, you can add that within here and just type out you know, new category or whatever, new guitar, whatever you want to name it. Hit cancel. And then obviously, you can name the template, your template. Let's say uh, you have eight tracks. So you can name it like uh, eight track template, you know, just as a starting point. And then of course, you can actually select location for template as well, as well as include the media. All right, guys, so those are multiple ways of saving sessions. I bet you didn't think it was that easy slash many options of saving stuff, but that's what Pro Tools 9 does. It gives you more options because it's, uh, it's all about giving us more freedom um, from the years before. It kind of like had a chokehold on us. But Pro Tools 9 is definitely changing their ways. So there you guys go. Once again, if you do have a question about Pro Tools 9, hit me up, shoot me an email, request at mahalo.com, as well as rate, comment, and subscribe down below. All right, guys, thank you for watching.